made a poncho because somebody said, could you make Green's baby a poncho? And I thought, mm. Yeah, I guess. So I made three, trying to get them to look better. I met a friend first for a coffee, and and she saw them in the car and said, we should show this um, store up the road. I went and showed her, and she goes, oh, these are great, I love it. She said, but could you do me one in natural? Because they were red and yellow and <laughs> terrible colours. <laughs> from there I got a um, call from, uh, an email from someone in the Netherlands. And she said, oh, look, we love New Zealand made garments over here, but we don't know how to get them. It's been over there ever since, the last 10 years. We've got over 45 products. This is a few of them. That's our starting poncho. These are big in the Netherlands, the chunky knits. We've got the rompers, which are the new, the latest thing we have. People just love this chunky knit at the moment. We use two of our cones and that this one here we use four of our cones at once on needles to make these cute cushions. Cardigans have always been the biggest seller. It's just one of those things that every baby should have. One of the first products was our hoodie. It's very simple to wash this and it will always stay looking like this. All wash and um, lay it flat to dry. It dries really quickly, merino. You're knitting and it's hot, but when you're knitting with merino, it doesn't feel like that. It actually feels quite cool. A great heat regulator, and that's why it's really good for babies. Over in the wire wrapper, we've been these stands for a sheep. This is the actual colour of them. They come in three shades. You share the sheep, and you just have their bales here, and they put them in the three colours of the lighter and the, the mid grey and the dark grey. They make these in Petone in their factory, woven sleep bags. The big thing was getting from trying to do this on my own to actually stop the knitting and actually build the business. I had a friend that said his mother-in-law was a great knitter down in Geraldine and she'd probably be really keen to do some knitting for you. She has a little team working for her now. I send all the yarn down to her and she just organises everything. Eco-friendly dyes and wool yarns does all that. The natural is natural, so we do find that the colour can change from batch to batch. The raw fibre, they source it, they it's all washed out there. Once it's dyed, it goes through these big mixes. It sits there for 48 hours. That goes through a machine with these very, very fine pins, which teases it and mixes it all up. And that goes through four times before it comes out into one very, very fine big sheet. From there, it's put onto some other machine, which then breaks it down into very fine, fine threads. Then they put it onto these hanks. That's just before it's put onto the cones. I've had a knitter, every single thing that we do in Weebits, she's made. I'll tell her what I want, kind of draw it up, and, and then she writes it all out, and then I just send it out to the knitters. As soon as an order comes in, that's now being made by the knitters again. I always sew the labels on, do the final check, press everything. I've got a whole folder of baby photos of what people have sent me. It's great to see that people are looking after this and, and washing it like that. And it does, it will go through um, three, three, four kids. 